Okay, um, now we can name this uh, right arm and material. Uh, object, I'll just say R arm and then L arm. That way I can keep track of it. Uh, so that way I know when, or you know, when you're animating this, which arm you're working with. And then we'll just put that into blocky. And it's already grouped. Okay. So now you got the arms and the torso and the head. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, since it's just going to be a little bit of a stick figure, we're going to just go ahead and do control V two more times. And move the, oops, not blocky, not blocky. Lock blocky. We'll just move these. Damn it. Okay. Why does it say cylinder 102? Oh well. Okay, blocky are really getting on my nerves. Or high blocky. Alright, we'll move these guys down because they're going to be our new legs for blocky. Now we can bring him back since he's not in the way. And lock him. Zoom out just a little bit. And try not to click within this box because you're just going to end up clicking blocky. And then just position his new legs where you want them. And then you can use the lock spin to move them back down to where you want them. And there you go, blocky. Actually, it looks like blocky. All right, that's his right leg. So we are leg. L leg. Right leg and left leg. And just put that in blocky. And it doesn't have to be called blocky. It could be called whatever you want to call it. It could be stupid mother or if you want it to be. But it's whatever you want. Okay, so since we got blocky here, um, we're going to take its head and give that its vertical. Uh, not vertical. It's pivot position. We could take the head, say preview, not preview, uh, advanced modeler, zoom in, and we're going to do the position again, say move independently, and we're going to move this pivot position down. So we'll go pivot position and say X coordinate, or no, Y coordinate, and move that down to the bottom where his neck would be. And then we we'll say move together, scene editor. And now we can move, oops, <laughs> we can move his head around, kind of like he has a neck. So now all your parts except for the torso have the right pivot position, which the torso doesn't need one at this point because, you know, your torso would just move freely like that as one. So we'll put Blocky back down like this. Now we're going to give him some facial. Yeah, facial features. So we got blocky, and now we can go over here, materials. I got some preloaded skins. We'll just give them this little happy face. Um, usually, this will what will happen is your face won't be in the right position. You can either do that and just move it to where it is. If you don't like his face being down that low and he has too much of a forehead, you can go into advanced modeler, say edit mesh, and then do edit texture mode. And then when you just click on this, and there, I can move his face around. And then once that's done, you just say, uh, go back to the scene. And now his face is all the way up there. He's like, eee! And you can give him hair and all that junk, um, which I'll, I guess I can give him hair right now. I'll say edit mesh, and I'll go down here. Um, move that up so I can see. A little brief uh, editing mesh type tutorial here as well. We'll just say those are all of his hair points. And we'll move those upward. Oops, nudge it over crap. There we go. Just to give him a weird little hairstyle. 
it's easier when you got the sphere working, but we're just doing something simple, so I'm not going to do anything too advanced. Okay, he's going to be a weird crab head looking thing. So there. Yeah, I know it kind of looks retarded, but who cares? All right, and then for clothing, we'll just give him little flat bitmap things, or you could do bitmap, or you could just do these flat things. He's got a aqua shirt on with uh, brown sleeves or reddish brown or whatever. It can be whatever color you want. It's just all in preference. I'm just doing this to show you that this is how you put the material on. Okay. So there's Blocky. And now we're going to get into the actual animating. So what we're going to do is give the scene some ground. It will appear right here. We'll just have Blocky stand on that. And I just usually do 25. That makes it big enough for the area of playing. See if you go over here. This is how big it is when it's 25, which that might be a little bit big, but there it is. If we were to render this right now by going over here and doing the render window, here's Blocky, and there's a the shadow. And this is what it'll look like on the output if you do the uh, raster. But um, right now we're going to animate. So you're going to go over here to your animation timeline. It's just like Flash. You'll say Animate. And we'll just do 10 frames. And what we're going to do is move Blocky's arm up. So right now this is the default position on frame 1. And it works just like motion tween. So we're going to say right arm. And we're going to move it with the tool here. And then just go up to there. And what I'll do is just basically do a motion tween. There he goes. He's waving, sort of, because it's doing a loop. But anyways, you'll do that, and then this keyframe will pop up. And this keyframe, you can actually set for it to stop right here, so that way it'll be a little bit faster, and it'll just hold it there, like that. Or you can move that back, and then move this forward. Or you can click them both, and then move, oops, grab them both, and just move them wherever. The longer you have it, the slower the tween. So it'll take him that much longer to get his arm up. And that's just the basics of the movement for the arms and legs and such like that. So you would just do that with everything. We'll say 70. And we'll say left arm. His left arm goes up the... Ah, not that far. Up to there. His leg. We can move that forward. You don't even have to use these. You can actually just do that. And move it wherever you want it to go. Just like a tween. And then we'll do left arm. Or left leg. Oops. Left leg. We'll go over there. Like he's doing a weird skip. And then we'll move his head down to like that so you can see the inside of his head cavity where his brains would be. <laughs> and then we can take Blocky himself as a whole entity and move it wherever we want and then rotate it however we want. Like he's doing a weird jump and move him a little bit forward. So now if we go back and you'll see these pivot positions and rotations, and that's just basically all the tweens that are being used. So if we go back and we play it, it's like he's going Wah! And that's the basics for that animation. 